Hey there Aquarius and Aquarius Rising, this is Kimberly Knox KK, your astrologer and we have your general forecast for December. This is a dynamic time of the year. I'm sure you're already feeling the energy as I am having a hard time getting up these videos because they have so many things going on. But everyone gets an opportunity at this time of the year with the Sagittarius new moon to take charge with a positive choosing a positive and optimistic mindset that gets us a recharge with determination to go forward with our plans. We have come out of, of the time of Scorpio and knowing things that we need to leave behind and knowing where we're placing our commitments to go forward and, and, and building a you know, union with uh, what we're putting our energies into. And now we get to infuse it with the, with the enthusiasm and future thinking and, and foresight of the sign of, of Sagittarius. This is about a broader experience. This is about gaining wisdom. This is about travel. This is about opening up our minds to new things, new physical, philosophical thought, new people, and um, really being able to expand. This is truth, knowledge, wisdom. And that's so funny, it's Robert Graham saying, but uh, he must have some Sag in him. So, uh, Jupiter is extremely dynamic at this at this new moon, and it's just really it's allowing us to have opportunities through friendships and networking and social. You've you've got Mars. You know Mars has been in your sign Aquarius, livening you up, giving you lots of energy uh, going forward. So uh, this has been tremendous for you for what you are taking care of this month and and putting forth and initiating. So get out your planners. We've got um, big stuff going on. We're gonna talk about your power days. We're gonna talk about where Venus is giving you the goodies and the love and the money. What areas those are uh, lining up. You've got Venus moving into your sign, which is really, really awesome. And where the action is, and that's where Mars is. Um, and so just going back to Aquarius, you, your rulers are Saturn and Uranus, and or Uranus, whatever you want to say. Um, Sagittarius, you, so I mean, um, Saturn has been in Sagittarius. Terrific, it's going to be there through December of 2018, then it'll move into Capricorn at the time Uranus is in Aries. So right now you've got all this fire sign in your rulers and this is going to continue through about 2018, 19, but then Saturn going into Capricorn and Uranus going into Taurus, this is really earthy. So you're like, you're launching forward with a lot of enthusiasm and bold, uh, bold new authenticity and then you're really going to be able to build something as this shifts out. So that's just long term stuff. but. But I love that about what's happening for you right now. And in the sky right now, Mars in your sign and um, Mars in your sign in Aquarius and um, Uranus in, in um, Uranus and Aries are teaming up. They're mutual reception. So they're working together. This is doubly terrific for you, Aquarius. So it's allowing you to flow and to, in really easy ways, which I love. So let's look at the power days. The power days, well, particularly today, the new moon, or yesterday, the new moon, time's going by so fast. Um, you know, travel during Thanksgiving, I really wanted to get these out sooner, but it is what it is. So the new moon in Sagittarius was in, in your sector, your 11th house sector for your sun sign, or if you're an Aquarius rising. So this is about friendships, this is about new uh, opportunity. Now you could be also Capricorn rising and still have this new moon uh, affecting your 11th house. That's why it's good. You need to look at your own chart because there can be uh, overlays. This is mathematical. When I do this, it's all about 360 degrees and 30 degrees for each of the signs. There's always overlap. Then of course you have a sun, but you've got your moon, your Venus, your Mars, your Mercury, Jupiter, and you've got all your other planets that make you up in different signs, all talking in different ways. That's why your own personal chart is the most amazing thing about you. I mean, literally, it's just this, this mathematical moment that you were born, it's, it's brilliant. So uh, this new moon is revving up your networking opportunities and who's better 
and no one's better at networking than Aquarius and, and especially having tons of friends and keeping in touch with friends and just being social and knowing so many. You are like a social media uh, kings and queens giving kind of, it's the sign of giving love out to humanity. Um, so December 3rd, another power day for you that's coming up. Mars is going to be in sextile to Saturn. So this is more opportunity again. This opportunity is lying between you personally and your friends. So particularly it's affecting you because Mars is in Aquarius for all of us. It's um, giving us opportunities that way. Anytime it's a sextile, you have to take the op you have to take the you have to make the steps to make it happen. It's there for you, but you have to do something. So many people are just waiting for things to happen to them. You actually have to take initiation. You have to visualize, but then you have to take action on that. And then, um, or at least talk to people because sometimes you talk to people and next thing you know, oh my God, I was just thinking that. And that's the synchronicity of putting things into the universe and manifesting. That's the brilliance of manifestation. December the 6th, very big social advances between for you between December 6th and um, December 3rd and December 6th because you've got Mars also sextile to Uranus, okay? This is big, so this is between, the, now I've got Uranus in the third house. This is for brilliant thought. This is for lots of fun stuff going on in your, uh, right around you, um, travel, but it gives you, it brings amazing thoughts to your, to your mind. I remember when I had it going through, I had all these you know, interesting and amazing uh, entrepreneurial thought processes of like, wow, this could happen. And you know, the mind of an Aquarian is already uh, like that, thinking outside the box and, and very inventive. We love that about Aquarians. So this is very big social advance time for you and it's right before the first quarter, which is December the 7th. Um, the first quarter moon is when we take a step out. So whatever you were enacting around this new moon, you can take a step toward putting that out there. So uh, the, the uh, first quarter is Wednesday and then I think it'll really take hold on the 8th because uh, then we've got the moon moving into your uh, into Aries that day so whenever the moon moves into Aries it's really great for getting stuff done and stuff starts to happen December the 10th this is a big day for everyone your ruler your ruler uh, Saturn everyone Sun and Saturn are coming together in the sky once a year this happens this is about focus and planning we're planning for the future because this is in the sign of Sagittarius and be optimistic about the future so infuse this day with the best Possible. It's a real big power weekend for you. I mean, Aquarius, you really have so much stuff going on. Social advances and then this huge power weekend because of December 10th, 11th, 12th, you've got Sun now trining Uranus on the 12th and that's your sign. This is an easy flow. This is between the 11th and the third house. So this is between your goals for the future or your friends and networking and and between what's going on right in your uh, all, all around you in your neighborhood or what you're thinking about you're really bringing this forward it's giving you a lot of energy in that in in really moving forward in great ways so i love this it's a expansive time it's a really powerful weekend for you and then it's the full moon as well and this gemini full moon is in your fifth house aquarius if you have been bringing something forward that you have creative self-expression about that's fifth house stuff this is when the full moon is going to illuminate that whatever happened at the gemini new moon when you planted some new seeds Maybe it was a romance. Maybe you were, you know, reestablishing with a, a love partner. So this is a time when things are flow bloom. There, you see like where you've come. You see what you've put into all of that, and you get feedback. And it's a big spotlight. That's what the full moon is. And then it's time to release and to go forward. So that's where we're getting some results in the fifth house. So if you've got, you're going to have results around, you know, your your creative efforts or your children or if you've been trying to have a, a baby or something I mean this is all fifth house stuff uh, or your children some information about children there which I love so we're all gonna have a dynamic Christmas Christmas Eve Christmas Day Hanukkah it's all at the same time and 
um, Sun is, I mean, uh, Saturn is trining, trining uh, Uranus, and then Jupiter is opposing Uranus. So we've got this real big, expansive, dynamic, uh, you know, be yourself, meet new people. Uh, it's really great. And anytime Saturn's involved, it's about stability. So uh, it's bringing form to this Uranus that wants to break free and be something new. Uh, so I think we're really going to be having a really great, and Saturn's also about new family structures. So these holidays will be quite nice for us. Where's the action happening for you? Well, Aquarius, you're gonna love that um, the action is moving from your first into your second. So that means, um, and that's gonna be happening on December the 19th, Mars moves into your second house of cash flow, money, how you're making money, how you're spending money. So you may have to open up your your paycheck, your, your pocketbook a bit, you're spending money, make sure you're spending money on, you know, that you're investing in yourself. You're probably investing in yourself because all of this stuff going on with, you know, creative thought, entrepreneurial things that you're working on, but it's also a time when you can make more money because Mars gives you the energy to go and figure out new ways to do that. The other great day is December the 7th for you because Venus is moving into your sign, into Aquarius. Whenever Venus moves into our sign, it just lights us up. We shine, we, you know, we glow more, we attract more, and it's a brilliant time to just, you know, enhance your current look, get some, get a new piece of wardrobe, change your hairstyle a little bit. So now let's go to the 19th. It's the same day that Mars moves into your second house. This is when Mercury goes retrograde. So, <clears throat> so Mercury retrograde. Mercury gets into, uh, Mercury moves into Capricorn tomorrow, into your 12th house. Your 12th house, Aquarius, is about, you're digesting things at this point. You're taking things to a deeper level behind the scenes. You're thinking about, am I getting enough sleep? Am I doing enough meditation, journaling? Do I need to do yoga? Do I need to get into my inner self, my inner wisdom? This is a time, this is why astrology is amazing <coughs> for any 12th house stuff. It's because it helps you get into that inner part of you. When you're listening to your inner wisdom, you have so much strength. That's why meditation is fabulous. That's why, you know, the, we get our best thoughts when we're just in solitude. And these are some of the, the wisdom that Wayne Dyer left with us, you know, just that some of his great wisdom points. So Mercury going retrograde December the 19th, we get our midway point December the 28th. That's our aha moment. So don't fret about Mercury retrograde. It's fabulous. It just says that we need more information, but we get so much news at that time. Mercury is closest to the Earth during that time. So Mercury gets, uh, it lines up. It lines up and it gives us information. But also, you have to be careful of the texting, the social media. We do like so much of that now. We can get in trouble by sending the wrong things to the wrong places. Just be wary of that. Also, do your shopping. Any major shopping before December the 19th would probably be happier. People will like the stuff more. Electronics won't break. It just, it rules all that. So. It's always best to buy important things when the rulership is at least not sleeping, right? You know, that makes sense. So um, it's really gonna be a fabulous month, uh, Aquarius. So uh, also, sorry, Uranus goes direct. We almost forget that. On uh, December the 29th, the day of the new moon. Really, this is so dynamic. Um, so. December the 29th, we've got Uranus going direct and a new moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is your 12th house. Like I said, you're in preparation mode uh, for building some really big things and uh, you're getting ready for the new moon that's going to be in your sign in January, on January 27th. You know, so just take this time to kind of reorganize some of your planning and, uh, and to digest certain things but have a fabulous holiday. I'm gonna draw you your heart message for this month. It says, choosing optimism, optimistic thoughts fills me with a renewed determination. Choosing optimistic thoughts 
fills me with a renewed determination. I love that. So we all get a chance once a year to just douse into this Sagittarius, you know, uh, optimism and looking to the future. Grow through your friendships and your networking. You're brilliant at that Aquarius. Utilize that going forward. Um, contact me for a 10 point plan to take charge and redirect your life into the new year. That's what we look at in your chart. Um, all of your own planets. This is exceptional personal awareness and astrology is one of the major things for that. I'm looking for oh the different oils and the different um, crystals. I like to give you some ideas of different crystals to, to have around you during the energy time of Sagittarius. This is um, if you want to maybe highlight your, your areas of friendships as well. So Sujalite is a purple stone. It's really about wisdom and bringing you back to center. It's great for meditation. This is really positive for you, especially because you are a mental air sign. Um, smoky quartz rules the hips. Uh, Sagittarius rules the hips and the liver and smoky quartz is really great for that. I have a whole necklace of smoky quartz and I have Sag rising, Sag moon. So it's, you just find sometimes that you are attracted to certain stones anyway, based on who you are. Topaz, great for truth, seeker of knowledge, connecting to wisdom. That's all about Sagittarius and Amethyst. Um, here's a really great one for men. Amethyst was known to draw a good woman to to love them. So I love that about that. But said Amethyst is a real spiritual stone. But um, and also protection in court cases, which is Jupiter ruled. Moderation and bringing us back to center. That's important for Sag because we can get scattered just like Gemini in a way because they're opposites. So a couple oils, great geranium stimulates the muscles and uh, it eases that Sagittarius twitch but uh, geranium has other other possible uh, you know uh, abilities as well I just I, I like giving different types of oils cinnamon is a great it's warming to the body it's soothing uplifting the mind eases the nervous tension it's great for this time of the year the winter so thank you so much for watching and tuning in sharing and liking and uh, jot down these great days for yourself and have an amazing holiday, Aquarius, and go get them.